Joyce, not her real name because of her condition, is 85 years old and has lived with fistula for the last 54 years. A resident of Namisuni sub-county in Ulambli district, Joyce gave birth to her only daughter, Agudi Mary, 1964, using a traditional birth attendant, which she says was the beginning of her fistula troubles. So for her, she delivered from home. Now, those people, for them, they just ruptured the membranes using a safety pin. Then, uh, during that process of rupturing the membranes, instead they punctured the what? The blood. That is how he, she came to get that problem. Obstetric fistula refers to a childbirth injury caused by prolonged obstructed labor without prompt medical attention. Joyce says it was a strange condition and could not find any medical attendance. Yeah. There was no one who could repair the, what, the bladders. Yeah. Joyce is being nursed by her only 54-year-old daughter, a good Mary who says has been spending most of her time cleaning her mother. She says this has affected her economically. Joyce is among the 25 patients that turned up recently at Imbara Regional Referral Hospital at a fistula camp supported by the Minister of Health and partners like United Nations Population Fund. But now she is happy because the bed is dry. She is no longer warm. The bed is no longer wet. Sister Dr. Nalubega Florence was among the team of gynecologists that worked on Joyce. The mothers have to be going for antenatal care. They have to have uh, deliveries under skilled personnel. Then they have to, in case they get fistulas, immediately after delivery, if you find that you are leaking urine, you better come to the hospital. Untreated fistula leaves women permanently disabled and often socially isolated. It is estimated that at least 75,000 Ugandan women and girls live with fistula and about 1,900 new cases are added annually. Under the global campaign to end fistula, every year UNFPA Uganda provides about 1,500 life-transforming surgeries to heal the physical and psychological wounds of fistula survivors to ensure zero fistulas by 2030. Bernard Yiga, UBC TV, reporting.